Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're looking at Crab Dash by Kohio Games. Crab Dash is for three to six players, and it's a racing game with hermit crabs, and it's coming to Kickstarter in 2018. So players are placing bets on these racing crabs and on certain lanes to collect the most pearls. When the third crab crosses the finish line, then the successful bets will pay out. Let's look at the prototype components. You have the main game board, crabs, dice, cards, pearls, and tokens. To begin, the crabs are all placed in the center circle. Players receive a number of betting cubes based on player count, some action cards, and pearls to start the game with. Players will also place two initial bets on the crab betting cards. On your turn, you'll roll three dice, and then you'll move the crabs as indicated by the dice, and then you get to take up to two actions like playing cards or betting on the crabs. The white die shows which two crabs move, and the red and blue dice show the movement for those crabs, advancing one or two spaces toward the edge of the circle, or moving sideways into the next lane clockwise or counterclockwise. On the roll, you might also get a card or reroll token. Some of the action cards, like Do As I Say, can affect the die rolls. These cards can be played by any player at any time. Other cards can be played only on your turn, like Sleight of Hand, that lets you move one of your betting cubes to another crab. As actions, you can also discard cards from your hand to gain pearls. Placing a betting cube on a crab's betting board or on a lane takes an action and costs pearls. The closer a crab is to finishing the race, the more pearls it costs to bet on it. Once a crab crosses the finish line, you can't bet on it anymore. The game continues with players taking turns until the first, second, and third place trophies have been awarded. As soon as the third crab crosses the finish line, the game is over. The active player doesn't even get to take any more actions. Then players add up their bets. Lanes pay out if a crab finishes in that lane. You multiply your betting cubes in the lane by the payout rate and gain that many pearls. For the winning crabs, you multiply the number of your betting cubes on the board by the payout first, second, or third. You also get a pearl for each remaining card you have. The player with the most pearls wins. The game reminds me a little bit of Camel Up because there's that racing aspect, there's the betting and the die rolls, but you can actually influence the movement of the crabs a lot more in this game. A lot of the cards actually move crabs in certain directions. There's also strategy to putting down spill tokens because those will stop a crab's movement. And then there's even a little bit of strategy about trying to place a crab into a space that's already full because then it'll crawl over that space. Basically, it's like getting a free movement. Yeah, I was actually initially confused on how the racing worked. It's not in a circle. The crabs actually start in the center and then move outward. I like that the game plays fast, especially if a crab's color uh, keeps showing up. Right, but even though it can seem like a certain crab might be running away with it or a certain lane is bound to score, those dice rolls and the action cards can really shake things up. The cards also add a little bit of interactivity to the game because you can influence your turns and other players' turns. The box cover definitely tells you it's a racing game, but I think it could be improved graphically. Katie from our gaming group thought the hermit crabs were cute, and Will really liked those fun trophies. I'm not sure if the board art is final, but it could use some better design. I really hope there's a stretch goal that upgrades the pearls to something more realistic, something like the pearls from the board game Abyss. That would be really cool. So I was able to play this at several player counts, and I found it a little more interesting and a bit more chaotic with at least four players. And it plays all the way up to six. Right. And there are actually a few strategic choices that you can make during this game. Each person has a limited number of betting cubes, and you have to pay to place bets, so you really have to be careful about what you're putting your bets on. Then there's also the aspect of the cards and deciding when to play them, or even if you should just discard a card to get the pearls instead. Yeah, so if you enjoy racing betting games like Downforce, Longshot, or Camel Up, and you're looking for another take on this mechanic, then check out Crab Dash on Kickstarter soon. <laughs> 